Neil Carlson out here, some uh, 20 miles west of Grand Forks along Highway 2. Earlier this afternoon, we showed you this uh, photo, this uh, artwork, if you will, that quickly upset a lot of people uh, featuring the uh, swastika Nazi flag and or a Japanese flag below the American flag. Now, I just talked with the uh, folk, uh, with the farmer who made that, an artist of sorts uh, out here, Cliff Haugen. He says uh, he makes all kinds of art, and if he offended with anyone with this one, he's sorry. Here's his explanation of what it was uh, representing. Your creation up here ticked a few people off. Can you explain what you had in mind by it? Uh, well, the last two years we've had a cut of Mount Suribachi, or Iwo Jima, if you will, the flag raising, the iconic picture from World War II. Never got a comment. So this year I thought I'd try something different. And this was a memorial I had made to celebrate the, what was it, 75th, 100th anniversary of mm -hmm. World War II. And it's been sitting here in the yard. And I thought, well, why not put that up? If you look at the memorial, the highest flag on the memorial is the United States flag. You know, my intent wasn't to offend anyone. And if they're offended, they misinterpreted it. So the United States flag is over the swastika. Well, absolutely, the over and above the swastika and the rising sun. Okay. Which is the Japanese battle flag. However, <clears throat> I believe that any GI that fought and gave his life for his country deserves a memorial. So yes, the German soldiers are in there, and yes, the Japanese soldiers are in there, and yes, the Americans are there with their flag, but they're head and shoulders over the others. The support for the Japanese and the German flag is, is bent and bowing to the U.S. flag subtle things in the okay. <coughs> artwork right. that most of these people haven't picked out. Well, I, and I, but I got to tell you, the main thing is nobody wants to see the swastika, the Nazi symbol. <coughs> but if you refuse to learn from the lessons of the past, you're doomed to repeat them. Let's not forget what happened. Okay. All right. Thank you. Now, Cliff told me since it was upsetting some people, he planned to go up by Highway 2 and pull it back in his yard. But by the time my interview with him was over, what he considered art and others considered disgusting was already gone. I'm Neil Carlson reporting for iNews.tv.